everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Mia so I know in the description it said that this was my summer look my go-to summer look but honestly I wear this look all year long I love it so much so my eyelids are primed using my Urban Decay primer potion in original and my brows are filled in with my Anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown so right now as you can see I just dipped into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using this really pretty deep rose gold shade and just patting that all over my lid I'm going in with a Morphe M167 brush to achieve that look and usually I do the transition first but for this look I always do my lid first because this shimmer is so pigmented I just want it to get it over with and basically just make sure it's in place and as high up as I want it to be and then from there I'm going back in with the palette and taking this really deep it's kind of like a brick red orange look and I'm using my Luxie brush this is number um, 235 no 205 I believe and just putting that all over my upper lid as part of my transition from there I grabbed the shade right next to it. it's this really deep cherry red and I used the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush to kind of deepen up my outer crease I wanted it to be a little bit more red in the outer corner To get ready for false lashes, I used my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and then the lashes that I ended up applying off camera were my Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. These lashes are pretty extra, but whatever, I like them. So moving on to my skin, I used my Fenty Beauty primer and just got my skin ready for foundation. And then my foundation that I'm using for this look is my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I'm in the shade Cappuccino, so right now I'm just trying to evenly distribute the foundation all over my face before blending it in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I just wanted to make sure that I hit every part of my face evenly. For my concealer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty concealer. I'm in the shade 370 and I'm just hitting that on the areas of my face that I want to highlight. So cheeks, nose, highlight, or cheeks, nose, forehead, and chin. So I decided to bake my skin for the first time in a long time. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm using my Fenty Beauty. This is the powder in the shade, I think it's in the shade Banana, and I haven't baked in so long, but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I don't usually keep it on very long. I would say maybe like one to two minutes because it can definitely um, wash me out, and I'm not trying to take like the color out of my skin. I'm just trying to highlight it, I guess, if that makes sense. So. After putting it on and just sitting for a bit, I just blended it out with my Real Techniques sponge. And then to blend in the rest of my skin, I'm using my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Hazelnut on a Vanity Planet foundation brush. So for my cream contour, I decided to just contour my cheeks and I'm using my Fenty, Fenty Beauty Matchstick. This is in the shade Truffle. And then I'm blending that out with my e.l.f. Um, small stipple brush. To bronze up my skin, I'm using my Fenty bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty, and I'm just hitting that over my contour as well as the sides of my forehead. For my blush, this is my e.l.f. blush in the shade So Rosy, and I'm using a blush brush that doesn't have a name, but anyone will do. I'm just adding some color to my cheeks. And then for my highlight, this is my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think it's called their Illuminator, and it's in the shade Peach Nectar. I'm just taking that on a Morphe brush. Can't think of the name, but I'll put that down below. So to finish up the rest of my eyes, I'm going back in with that deep rose gold shade on a smudger brush and just smudging it out on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this light pink shade in the upper corner of the palette and put that on my inner corner as well, just to brighten it up a little bit. 
So I finished up the rest of my eyes off camera, but I used my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and my L'Oreal Eyeliner, both in black as black. And then for my lips, I'm taking my Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Spicy Mauve, and I thought it was a really good um, color to just complement the rosiness of this look. Then to set my skin, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and that is it. I love how this look turned out. I think this is a color scheme that anyone can get away with, no matter what your skin tone is. It just looks good on everyone, like rose gold looks good on everyone so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye